Hello and welcome. This is Scott Schneider, film designer, and this is Rhino's Tip of the Horn. One of the great features in Rhino 5 is the ability to apply shut lining. Now, what is shut lining, you ask? Well, basically any kind of a panel line breakup on a car or vehicle is uh, referred to as a shut line, which are adjacent surfaces that have a break between them, such as these panel lines here. Now, there's an ability to do that in Rhino that is completely non-destructive. And what I mean by that is it's using any type of projected curves onto the surface and it's using the render mesh to simulate those curves as panel lines. This is not cutting into your nerve surface. This is not damaging it in any way. And this is a really, really great way to show multiple ideations of panel breakup on a vehicle of, or prop or whatever you're working on without damaging the surface. This way you can walk it through with your production designer if you're on a film or with the automotive designer if you're working at a car on a car. And uh, the added bonus to this is because it's using the render mesh, it allows you to actually export that mesh out into another rendering package such as Moto or Keyshot or Hypershot or any of those particular packages that you use. And those shut lines will come through in the render mesh. So I'm going to show you real quick how to apply it. And then we're going to take it over into Moto and I'll show you how it looks when it's rendered. Okay, so the first step we're gonna do is we wanna project this curve onto this surface. And that way, that curve is hugging the surface, indicating the panel line. So we're just gonna select this. I'm gonna to go to my top view, and I'm gonna run the project to surface command. And if we go back into our perspective view, you can see here now it is on that surface. So I'll go ahead and hide that. Then I'm just gonna type in apply shut lining. I'm gonna select the object to apply the shut lining to. Very important to read the command line. And then it's gonna add, ask for the curves to add, and it gives you a lot of different options. Uh, I'm gonna leave by default for now. I'm gonna go ahead and select the curve, and I'm gonna right click. And it's gonna give you a few other options here. I'm gonna right click again, and it's gonna think for a second, and there it is. So now if I select that curve, I can hide it. Uh, but then the next thing I can do is select the surface and what's really great is you can go into the properties for that selected object and it's added another icon here for shut lining and if you click on that and you go to this particular uh, item that you've just added now I didn't name mine which would be ideal if you're going to add a lot of these but I can change the shape on the fly and I can change the size I can use the pull to curve to object which is can tend to give you more accurate readings. Uh, but then if you go back in here and look at it, you now have a nice clean beveled edge. And again, the beauty of this is it's totally non-destructive. Uh, the mesh is not cut up in any way. This is, or the, rather the surface of the nerves are not cut up in any way. This is purely a render mesh uh, effect. So now the next step is, is I'm gonna go ahead and export this out as a mesh and I'll take it into Moto. So I'll see you in a minute in Moto. Okay, so now I'm here in Moto. I've imported my mesh. I added a few different uh, material colors just to help things read a little bit better. But uh, if you look closely here, you can see that all of my panel breakups came through. Now there are some artifacts. It's not a perfect, perfect solution, but most of these artifacts are easily repairable with Photoshop. Uh, you could go in and repair the mesh if you so chose to. Uh, in most cases, for quick renders, it's really just a matter of tweaking it in Photoshop to get those little artifacts gone. But uh, uh, it certainly is a much, much faster way of getting something when you're just churning out ideations. And it's really not about the final product. It's more about just getting something looking good. Once you have that down, all your curves are already there, then you can start cutting in your panels. But rather than spend a whole lot of time destroying your model and then having to rebuild it just for the sake of panel lines, this is a really good quick way to represent those panel breakups uh, in a rendered environment for, uh, for approval. So I hope this helps, enjoy, and we'll see you next time.